this is an exquisite 1.50 carat GIA certified pinkish purple unheated sapphire from Sri Lanka. Hi everyone, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you all so much for joining me. I have a beautiful gem on the turntable. Uh, this is kind of a pastel pinkish, pinkish purple, truly a stunning piece. And uh, this is a gem, this is a color that's become a lot more popular lately, and I'll, and I'll be honest. Uh, and I don't mean this particular color, I mean I mean the pastel palette, right? So whether it's this or whether it's some of the pastel greens or blues, all very popular. And, and I'll tell you that I very much resisted it as a gem dealer, as somebody who's done this for, you know, since I was a little kid and, you know, been doing it on my own since I was uh, 21. It's, it's, uh, it's something that I resisted because it wasn't what I understood traditionally to be, you know, correct. And I mean, you can see by the pricing, it's not cheap, obviously, because, you know, as I say all the time, cheap gems aren't nice, nice gems aren't cheap, but you can see by the pricing that, you know, most people agree that, you know, the vivid colors are worth more than these pastels. And I resisted it until I started looking for a stone for a very close friend of mine. And she put it to me perfectly and I understood and it, and it came into, you know, it, it, it came into focus for me. This is going to be in, you know, this is going to be set into an engagement ring. Almost, almost certainly this is going to be into, set into an engagement ring. And the reason that these pastels work so well in engagement rings is when you have an engagement ring, you need a stone that is going to work for you every day. Now, if you're a big, bold person, you can have, you know, a vivid pink or vivid blue gem. Um, you know, my friend who I was helping out with, she's amazing. She's just not that wow person, right, that I'm that I'm very used to dealing with even because that's who's looking for the gems that I have. Now, this is a lot more subtle. And if you're wearing a little, you know, if, if you wear bold, beautiful, big pieces all the time, jewelry or or clothing, whatever it is, you want to go for those, you know, those vivid yellows, those vivid blues, those those vivid pinks. Um, but if you're a little bit more of a subtle person, this is actually much better for what you're going to already have in your wardrobe. Right. And um, right. She was kind of thinking about dying. She's like, ah. Diamonds, at least good diamonds will go with everything that I have, right? And, and I said, well, just let's let's see. Let's keep on looking. And she saw this. She said, that's perfect. And she said, I love all those vivid stones. But as soon as I put them on my finger, I'm like, oh, it's too much. Oh, it's too much. Oh, it's too much. And she said this. I saw it. And, and I said, this is perfect. So um, beautiful gem. Exceptionally well-priced. I don't talk too much about price. But, I mean, go out, take a look around, see what you're going to pay for an unheated Sri Lankan uh purplish pink sapphire like this that does still have a very nice color to it. It's not gray. It's not brown. It's not, you know, too faded. Um, it's just that the tone is lighter. So you have that lovely hue, which is the pinkish purple. And then you have the saturation, which is very nice, uh, strong, very strong saturation to it. It's that the tone is about a three, which gives us this pastel color. Beautiful gem. It's going to set up very well. I've now taken this absolutely lovely gem and put it into a pair of tweezers for you. This is so I can give you a nice close-up look of the gem. You can see any inclusions in it. I'm going to turn it around. There we go. Lovely, clean, bright gem. Lovely color and absolutely stunning and, and like i said this is going to set up exceptionally well i do know that this is almost certainly going to go into uh, an engagement ring and uh, if you do want to have that done i would love to be willing to do it for you please reach out to me and uh, send me some photos of what it is you're looking to make david at skygems.ca and i can usually get you a quote within one business day i've now taken this stunner and put it into this mock solitaire setting and uh, it kind of gives you an idea of the size but what it also does for us is shows us just how gorgeous the gem is going to be once it's finally set up. Take a look at that. I mean, I say it all the time. Gems are cut to be set in jewelry. When a cutter is cutting a piece like this, they know that it's going to be set up. They've cut thousands or tens of thousands of gems, and they know very well what they're doing. And uh, they know that once a gem like this gets set up, it's uh, just going to be super duper beautiful. Thank you all so much for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to tell your friends about skygems.ca. Bye for now.